So I'll tell you first about Heinrich Schliemann. He was a uh, businessman who studied archaeology. And uh, he liked ancient poems. Can anybody watch Simpson students? Simpson, Homer's from Simpson? Raise your hand. Let me put this way. You know this pers personality, Homer? Homer, how you pronounce? Homer or Homer? Homer. Homer. Okay. Have you seen these cartoons with him? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You like it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. But let me tell you about, really watch this. about uh, real Homer. This is just coincidence. Homer was ancient. Let me show. This is a Homer. This ancient uh, Greek poet, he lived 900 BC. So it's uh, overall more than 3,000 years ago. And he, let's make it a little bit smaller. He published a book, and this is his famous book, Iliad, where he described, in his book, he described Troy War. War. Maybe you know this Trojan horse, all this stuff, right, about Achilles, etc. So this book is pretty big, like 500 pages. And it was, uh, it has inside of this book 24 books. And um, people enjoy his books, his poems. And his books, he, uh, I'll make another one. He described in the, his famous book, this is him, right? He described in Iliad, like I said, the Iliad, he described ancient story of Trojan War and where Achilles and his adventure. And many people, consider they like fairy tales. They like this, they read this, they study in, in the schools, they study in colleges, okay? And this is book written by Homer about Trojan War. And this book, this war was about, you see this? About 1200 BC. So, wow, we go. And only one person, he was Henry Schliemann. He believed this is not just poem. He believed this was a real book. And when he was a small kid, he decided to, or he believed this uh, was not fiction, it was a real Troy city. And he decided to grow up to become archaeologist and find this this city, ancient city. Nobody believed in this. And a while ago, when he grew up, he went to Greece and he found very old people who knew fairy tales by heart. You know, some people know by heart. And they told him these fairy tales and he wrote everything. And based on these descriptions, I make sure of story short. He decided to find this uh, city, Troy, Troy city. And he went to one specific place and he started dig the ground and he found this Troy city. Can you believe it? Real story. In this Troy city, they, how they live 4,000 years ago, right? All this stuff. And um, he became very famous because in Troy city was a lot of interesting stuff. In addition, a lot of different gold masks, this is pure gold, etc. And uh, there are a lot of different books about this written, about this one. And it helped him a lot with this. You see this Trojan horse? Maybe you have seen in the different movie Trojan horse. And there are some books over there written about this Troy and Homer. So actually, Homer. Dr. Farber? Uh huh. Is there something similar to this, like Machu Picchu? Probably not. Oh, okay. This is a real. This is a real story. This one. It's not just fiction. Real. This Henry 
um, Schliemann is real. And uh, what is good, I have many of these books. And uh, he found a lot of gold, and this gold went to different museum. And this is the first story. Why I told this story? Because based on ancient scripts in ancient poem, he decoded and he found great real city, Troy city. If you'd like, I can, I am sure if you have for kids these books, I have for grown up all these books, a lot of stuff. But let me know if you, yes, we can send you by, for free by email. I always send, uh, send my students. This is story number one. Do you like this part, the first part of story students? Now the second part, I see your hands. Yes, you raise your hands. The second story about another scientist, his name is also uh, Champollion, Jean-Francois Champollion. He, what, how he look like, this is another story. And uh, he studied different languages, math and cryptic. And uh, he was extremely smart in 16 years, when he was 16, he studied many different languages. And this is a story about decoding the secrets of Egyptian hieroglyphs. You can read these hieroglyphs on the Google at the time, right? So how they decoded these Egyptian uh, hieroglyphs? I'll tell, tell you a short story. Napoleon soldiers, they dig a ground and they found part of wall. In this wall, in this wall, they had some strange symbols. And this wall, part of this wall, we name it Rosetta Stone. It was split by three pieces. And uh, they took this to museum. And uh, this nice Champollion, Jean-Francois Champollion, he decided it was the same text. Ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, Demotic language, which is also ancient, and ancient Greek. Ancient Greek and Demotic languages he studied, but nobody knew Egyptian. Since ancient Egyptians, since he uh, make analogy and he, he thought it would be the same text, he start decoding this stuff. I give example how Egyptian hieroglyphs look like. Few examples. It was in the stone or papyruses, right to this. Okay. When he made analysis, he finally the first because he is the father of the Kony Egyptian hieroglyphs. And after that, when he have this uh, this phrase, okay, he translated this in English, etc. And now when you go to Egyptian pyramid, people read all this stuff written on the walls, etc. Great story. What is commonality between these two stories? Let me switch in the screen. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. screen. Oh. Can you see me right now? Yes. So many, yeah. people, many people, they love this story and they also want something to something called it. Can you believe some small kid decided to grow up and find a city and nobody in the world know this, where people live, and uh, a lot of eating stuff, stuff was located in these cities, etc., etc. So two or two kids. Another story. Uh, they were uh, brother and sister. They love these stories, and they decided also to be archaeologists. And wherever people, their parents went to vacation, they also went together with them. And they try to dig something, dig in the ground something, maybe they find some. One day, okay, uh, they had a trip to some island and they found something, some stuff is 
Well, similar to this one. Look at this. They found in the ground some stuff. Really, I don't know if you see this or not. Can you see this script? Some hieroglyphs over there? Yes, yes or no? Yes? Can you see this? Yes. But difficult to read this, you yes. agree? But since they were smart kids, this brother and sister, I have many stories about them. They tried to decode it and said, well, if you decode what is written here, maybe you can find treasure in this island. But we don't know what is written here. And they took one of these lines over there, what is here, it was a big stone, like pyramid, and decided to figure out. Wanna see what they found? Hmm? Let me see. Okay, what they found, if you translate to modern computer materials, they had like this. It was written this one. After that, it was written like found by hashtag found sign. After that was written like this. After that was another found sign. And after that, C. And after that, it was written like 20 found sign. Five found sign three. And it was this sign and question mark. And he said, well, maybe, maybe this is distance from this particular place where you had this one. If you decode, maybe we, we can find a treasure, right? But we don't know what is it. Can you see this right now? Okay. Yes. Would you like to decode together with me this stuff to help them? Raise your hand. Uh huh. Let me do this. Same the way, very smart kids, right? Your age, by the way. They said, the brother and sister, you said, let. We don't know what is it. It looks weird. And they start reading on this stone more. When they start reading more, they found another line. And this line was written like this. Because you see on this pyramid, everything written by lines. See this lines underscore? And you said, well, maybe you're supposed to read in both lines. And they read in both lines and connected together. And if I write this A, B, C, it was A, B, minus C from the second line. So they first of all, they combine everything put in one line. Second of all, he said to sister, look at this. This we know what is it. It's A times B minus C. Everybody knows. But nobody knows what is it. And we have some numbers. Well, let me take these numbers. And they have exactly the same signs here. And put these numbers beneath of this one. Exactly. Line up. Look at this. It would be 20. five and three when he put like this his sister was said well maybe from now from this picture probably a equals to 20 b equals to five and c equals to three well interesting after the zero, this is 20.
times five because d is five in this multiplication and subtract and c equals to what tells me c equals to what three three thank you and she said well it's google got a question because every know 20 times five what is it tells me and this is also and guess what when they start to dig the ground around this pyramid 97 meters around they make a circle and radius was 97 they found in one place another pyramid with different equation and we named this method symbolism why because the symbols you see symbols you see symbols symbolism and now they analyze what you get look at this we have some unusual we have two parts like in a dictionary thesaurus if we use dictionary thesaurus in one part you have a known word after that explanation of this word pretend it's kind of alien language of the uh out to the left part and this is dictionary how do you translate alien language to earth language when you have this stuff it means take the first value multiply by the second minus the third value since you know dictionary when you read story you know dictionary you have dictionary you can easily get any word from this story how pretend if you use computer you select Control C, copy. Control V, paste over there, and line up. And when you line up, you can easily see what equals to what. Okay. What about this story? How who understand this stuff? We need one more time explanation. Again, few few more times. So this is a symbol. Yes. Uh-huh. Should we take notes of this? Sure, take together, take notes. I will write a um, flow chart for you right now. Would you like? Flow chart. Start. Take notes of this. You must take whatever I do, you listen and make notes. I make big for you. Stop. Right symbols. Right, line up. Numbers. below the symbols
next step. I put here left part on the left to the left part of the left part. What is left part? It's before equality sign. This is left part. This is left part. And this is right part. Now, after that, you know who is who. A is 20, B is 5, and 3 is C, since you line up. So go to the right part. Go to the right. And perform operations. I'll do my I pull like small kids say, do math, do the math. Get answer. Put a check mark. And And this is step number one, step number two, step number three, step number four. Let me repeat what I did. I wrote, uh, I wrote symbols, this one. This is step number one. I wrote symbols. Make also this number one. Line up numbers. This is step number two. What is line up? Beneath of variable of letters supposed to be a number, exactly beneath. Step number two. Go to the right part. This is my right part. Since you know A is 20, B is 5, etc. Perform operations. It's supposed to close parentheses here. What operations you have? Match operation, multiplication, subtraction, get the answer, and put check mark. Take note after that we change numbers together with you. And we name this the symbolism, symbolism. Do you like these questions of symbolism? And for me, it's kind of fun. If you take some of this stuff, you can decode it somehow. Ask me 
many questions about this. It look weird, huh? But it's so easy. What if I do not have the symbol in pretend I have question 20 times 5 minus 3? What grid is this question? Tell me. Just 20 times 5 minus 3. What grade is this particular question? Third. Third grade. Yeah. Third. So all the question how to decode, but they give you everything. For me, it's like dictionary where you have left part alien language and right part is earth language, which everybody understands. Ask me questions, students. No questions? Remember, they dig this some hole in the ground, they found another pyramid. Yes? No questions. No questions? I, if I, I keep... don't... Yes. I don't understand how to, like, like, uh, why do we have to do this? Like, what, like, uh, it's like if we see something like this on the test, we're going to do it? It is from the test. You have two options in test. They give you a problem. First of all, my point is great exercise to develop analytic and thinking skill. And second of all, these kind of questions, they have special topic, symbolism. So you have two options, either solve it, they said, I don't like it. What would you choose on the test? Give me another one. But this kind of fun because if you're not prepared for this, you have no idea what is it. But behind the scene, it's so easy. Did you answer a question, Yusin? You came to yeah, the test. Also, yes, yes, you answered my question, but also I have a question. How did you know that it's 20 times 5 minus 3? Because there were those symbols. How did we know that it was exactly 20 times 5 minus 3? How did we know that it's 20 plus 5 plus 3? Okay, now nice question. Look at this. Forget about everything. If we write here, tell me, forget about one and five. What is written here? What sign is it? In math, we have for multiplication, few different ways to write multiplication. This why multiplication, this one multiplication, multiplication. This one in computer science multiplication, or nothing. For instance, two, uh, eight. This also multiplication. All the multiplication. You have this one, what is it? That's multiplication. Okay, now what this sign means? Minus. Subtraction, yes. So it means take the first, multiply by the second, subtract the third. It's written here. Yeah, but what about the left part? It says A, B, and C. How do we know that it's uh, multiplication and subtraction. From left part, you don't know anything at all. Left oh, does it show you the left part? This on is the left test. Part. Left part. Yeah, so, but on the test, do they show us the left part? Sure, they on the test they give with this. What is written on the test? Exactly what they did. They said a. They give you both parts, and they ask you to find this one. Well, do they give you the 20 uh, times 5 minus 3? Yes, they give you this one. Let me write it given. And they ask you to find 20 times 5. And multiple choice you have. 100, 99, 98, 97. 
This will be filling the test. Thank you, Dr. Farber. And I have one last question. Does the test consist only of multiple choice or are there questions where we have to like uh, do some, like do, let's say A, B, C, part A, part A, part B, part C, or the, are there only multiple choice? There are two kinds of questions in, in, uh, on your test. One test, one kind of question with a multiple choice, and the second open-ended questions without uh, multiple choice. This test, preferably, we have multiple choice. Almost all questions, multiple choice. But if you don't know how to do this, you never guess. Thank you. Did I answer all your questions? This question mark. Did I answer all questions? Yes or no? Ask me more questions. Oh, no, I don't need any more. I, I, I'm good. So you come to the test, you have this one. And uh, definitely nobody knows what is it. But what, what is good of this, they give you a hint. A question. This is a question. So, go ahead. Um, on the test, if we're going to have this, like, these questions, how are we going to figure out, like, the problem? So it's written. Well, this is given and ask you what to find. This is a problem. They ask you to find what, what is equal to. Like in many questions, you said it's given. For instance, you study, pretend you're in the second grade. It's written five times six, given. Question, find the product. Always like this, something given, something you have to find. This is given, and this you have to find. They don't give explanation. And you can ask them question. Can you explain what is it? No way. What do you think? They will explain this? Mm -hmm. No. And this not oh. this. At all. Not this. So they will put 20 and 5 and 3, will they? Like on the question, will they put the numbers? No, I told you this exactly that we put on the test. This is given yeah. five. Wait, so we have to find twenty-five and three? No. You have to decode this alien language to Earth language and get the answer. Oh. So they give us the so they give us uh, next to find there's twenty-five and Three and they give us A, B, C, and A times B minus C, right? Oh, oh, just a second. It's just coincidence. Sorry, sir. I understand your concern. Let me make it not like this because we have A, B, C here. Sorry. Let's say F, G, H, whatever, K. This is multiple choice. This coincidence. It's just, you understand this? They don't plug in this one. This is multiple choice given. This is given. And this is given. This is better. What about this right now? Better? Yeah. Yes. Wanna try, wanna solve another one? Together? Yes. I will not change too much. Turning fun for me too. It is fun. I love these questions. And can you believe people without preparation always fail? They said, well, so weird. And behind this scene, my point is question for the third grade, not even fifth. After, can we do independent work, like when you give us a question and we answer, and then we check together? Obviously. I always do like this. Thank you for the question. Let me give another. Problem number two. Write it down. Let's say H, pound sign P, pound sign C, equals. I make the same dictionary the same symbols, 
a times b minus c. Fine. Let's say five pound sign six pound sign uh, two. Good luck and send me the answer. Have fun. Without guessing, steps must. Oh, two soon already did it? Wow. This is great. So, Dimitri, Emma, you did that at the same time. And Jasmine, three students did it at the same time. A plus rockets. Marwa, A plus Chivrashka. Or just smiley face. Okay, Eric A plus, Sava, Sava A plus. Don't forget to put A plus, because one day we count how many pluses you get. Okay, and try, try to be creative, create different A pluses. Wow, immediately, see how fast you pick up everything? Uh, using A plus. Who else? So high plus. Uh, Yasmin, or oh, uh, turn off mic. Your mic is turn off. Turn off mic. Yes. Arthur? Yes. Are we going to have this for homework? Sure. Okay. Algorithm is. Only homework I send you later. Why? Because after you have a lecture for SSSAT students. And I already prepare for your handout, but I always say customize. You understand? Based your questions, I change my handout when I prepare for you for a specific group, not to confuse you. So I can send this handout I prepare, I change it after my class at night and I send you. So strategy answering your question the same. I explain topic, I give you homework, and you do homework using my steps. Plus you do previous code. Did that answer question? Okay, so everybody get a plus. Mm -hmm. Let me do this together with you. Okay, practice with me. Step number one. Right, uh, can, uh, can we do another question? No, not right now. Step by step, you have to practice my style first of all after this another step by step right symbols and all symbols line up numbers five pound six pound sign two from now a equals to five multiplication sign b equals to six and C equals to 2. 30 minus 2, 28, check mark. So far, so good? Yes. Let me yes. The Don't think that dictionary could be only this one. It could be different five. But this is the idea of this. Number three, students. At the beginning, I give you the same dictionary. A pound sign B, write it down. Everything must be written. Pound sign C equals A times B minus C. And you have to find, for instance, 10 pound sign 15 pound sign. Mm, let's say 21. Good luck. 10 pound sign, 15 pound sign, 21. Okay. 
Yes, Safa A plus rocket. Yes, Eric A plus, Marva A plus. Uh, you can redo it. You have to do my steps. <coughs> redo and show again. Uh, Jasmine A plus, Emma A plus. Dimitri, redo it. And then redo, do it again and send me. Okay. Anybody else? Oh, I, I just didn't write the one. Uh, one. This is a lot. Instead of instead of one hundred, you get zero zero. You know, one is very important. Uh, you can redo it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just realized that it's incorrect way. Second, also wrong. Yes, redo it. Yes, you can correct. Try to do it from the first time. You smart it, You can do. Yeah, that. because the first time. I actually put 21 and like I got the answer 119 and then I redid it and then I put 129. Let me put it this way. My point is there is no excuse this is math, right? Because nobody cares how you fail on the test, right? You're supposed to win. Can you win? Absolutely. What is better to get low score and after that get nice explanation or get perfect score and pass to any test? What do you think? Pass perfect score and enter. Absolutely. Rhetoric questions. Okay. Let me do this together with you. After that, I change number. Look at these students. Since I have been doing tests all over the world for 48 years, different tests, I have a bunch. How you name this book? Can you see this book? Who can read the name of this book? Uh, Little Giant Encyclopedia of Outrageous Excuses. Encyclopedia. So this is thousands of different excuses. And for many years, I have big folders with student excuses. OK. You can find any new excuses, I believe. I don't know. Do not take any excuses. We just straight oriented to be the winners. Make sense? Good. Excellent. Now, like one student, he said, Dr. Farah, I prepare my homework, but I said, why didn't you bring to the class? He said, well, it was cold winter, and his uh, battery did not work, and said, my parents, in order to survive, they burn it out. All my homework. Will you believe this excuse? No. No. I have a bunch of them. Yeah. Okay, good. No excuses. Look at this. Step number one. Write symbols. Step number two. Line up. Put exactly beneath. Now, A equals to 10, B equals to 15, and C equals to, what is it? This is 21. And C equals 21. This 150 minus 21 equals to 129, check mark. Okay, ready for another one, students? Yes. Another excuse? One, yeah. student, one student did not come to the class. And his explanation was, well, uh, at night, my parents, they put new wallpaper on the wall. You know wallpaper? And in the morning when I wake up, I could not find the door. Will we believe in this excuse? Wait, wait, wait. No. 
We no, parents wallpaper, right? All wallpaper, all the, his room. And he said, when I wake up, I could not find the door because it was everywhere wallpaper. He did not find the... The door. The, the door. How you can't find the door? Because it was paper, wallpaper, he said, over this room, this door. This oh, the... I get it. Oh, okay, good. Next student, number four. After this, maybe I change dictionary. Number four, let's do this one. Again, the same dictionary, the same symbols. Oh, let me do this way. Will you recognize if you get on this, for instance, the test, this one? What do you think? Don't think symbols. I like well. the other one. I, I got used to the other one already. Can you see this is the same? Yes. Well, it just yes. looks different. It's all different, but the idea behind this is the same because symbol can be anything, rhombus, question marks, whatever you have. But if you look weird, this is symbolism. And you have to find like this. Look at this. <clears throat> 17 pound sign. I give you easy number, pound sign. Six. Go back. 17 pound sign, 10 pound sign, six. Send me results. Dr. Farber, I sent you the result. I see. I just keep silence. Yes. Let me see what we have. Some students who supposed whatever you send is correct. Uh, Safa, Dimitri, Eric, redo it, please. Or oh, Eric repeated already. Uh, yes, Safa, it was. The rest of you, it was. It was. It was. And Dimitri, redo it, please. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. And what about Jasmine, uh, Canon? Where is your results? I can't send it. I already told you the problem. Oh, I see. Okay. Dr. Farber, am I correct? Yes, if I don't say that you're wrong, you're okay, correct. Okay, yes, you're correct. Uh, Dr. Farber, uh, you didn't tell me how I did. Uh, how do I do? If I named that you're supposed to do, you did wrong. If I did not name, you did correct. Make okay. sense? Uh, let's say you have all different answers, yes. But if everybody did correctly, oh, I see. Now I found. Let me put this way. I have like um, data goes up every time and have limited screen. And it goes up, I don't see this. You know, I have to scroll it back. Okay. Now look at this. Line up 17, smiley face. D smiley face C equals 17 times 10 minus 6. This is 170 minus 6 is 164 check mark. So far, so good? Okay. Yes. Ask yes. me questions if you have. Yes. Excellent. You don't have questions. Next, students, let me raise everything. I need more room. And you see, in simultaneously, I will teach you engineering, right? For this test. You have a lot of engineering, technology, etc. Every time you develop this with our flowchart, don't forget what you studied at the beginning. Let me give another numbers, another, not numbers, but another dictionary to make something else.
you don't have too much time, but try to do this way. What number is it? Do you count your numbers? Let's say number six, right? Pretend. Let me take different. Uh, We're up to number five. Oh, five. Okay. Number five. I take different mark. Pretend I have an example like this. A the square b the square c this is our symbols alien language equals in parentheses a plus b multiplied by c Oh, you changed how we should like add and subtract it. Yeah, you think you have the same problem? No. Uh, no, but you got the idea. Like yeah, I see a, a cartoon that uh, teacher solved the equation and found x equals to five. And students said, hold on. Yesterday you said that x equals to three. You got the joke? X is variable, can be yeah. any value. Yeah. yeah, I give you an idea. This is alien language left part, Earth language right part. And they what they do, they do the same. And I give you easy numbers. For instance, find, find, let's put it right, find. For instance, uh, five. Square three, square two. Uh huh. Good luck. Don't rush. Try to do steps. Okay. Let me see who did what. M A plus uh, and. Uh, I'm uh, Dimitri and Justin, rocket smiley face. Marva, redo this, please. Yasmin, A plus smiley face. Eric, redo this, please. Yasmin, you did the same time. Send Wait, us. am I wrong? Who is, who is I? Uh, Dimitri. Dimitri, yeah, you're not wrong. I said put rocket smiley face. Oh, OK. You don't send me three times. Any student supposed to send only one time. One time. If I said redo this, Marwa wrong. Redo it, please. Did I get it correct? Okay, Safa A plus. Let me do this with you. Look at this. Symbolism, left part, alien language, right part, F language. Take this number, line up. Five, all line up neatly. Three, two, equals. Now a equals to five. Uh huh. Open parentheses. This is five. Plus b equals to three. Plus three. Close parentheses. Multiply by c. C equals to two. You call in PEMDAS rule, remember PEMDAS? The first goes parentheses. Five plus three is eight. Eight times two is 16. Check mark. Was it difficult? No. No. So very important to get idea. Can we tell Advance what kind of symbol they give you, nobody knows. But you know how to use fork 
and nice. Doesn't matter what your mommy cooks, you know how to use it and how to eat, right? You then say, well, I know how to use only fork for chicken. Here the same, universal approach. If you know how to operate with symbols, whatever they give you, it's piece of cake. Okay, students, how it was, how this topic? You understand this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's very interesting. Oh, yes, it's very interesting. At the beginning, you will see a story like this to students. They in the forest looking for treasure. And I put here some nice pictures for you. Only what I'm supposed to do, I send you different because I already do this. You see this treasure, treasure island here. I don't know if you see this or not. All this stuff, yeah. all descriptions, and you have symbols. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So meanwhile, it does mean that you sit and waiting when Dr. Farber sends. I have a big lecture right now after you with SHSAT students who are taking tests in a couple of days. And uh, you also will take this test in eighth grade. 